we continue with the epistle reading is from 1 John chapter 4, starting at the 7th verse. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God. And whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who, has, who does not love does not know God, because God is love. In this, the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit and we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him, and he in God. So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God and God abides in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel, according to St. John, the 15th chapter, starting at the ninth verse. Glory to you, O Lord. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you, no longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my father and have made known to you, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should abide so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, so that you will love one another. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. 